Before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know about my brand new merch store. I'm so excited. The link will be in the description. Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another mod video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys mods that I actually use. So I have showed you guys so many mods on my channel and I definitely have used all of them from time to time, but what I'll do a lot of times is, you know, take mods out or just like never use a mod for like months and months and months and months and just stuff like that. So today I want to show you guys the mods that I actually truly always use. I always keep them in my game they never come out and yeah just the mods that I truly feel like uh, are needed in my gameplay and just basically the ones I recommend the most. Before we get into the video I just want to do my notification Fantagorn fam daily shout out so this shout out goes to Chelsea Near and I just want to say thank you so much for all your love and support you are amazing you just you make me so happy with your comments I recognize your name and you're amazing so you guys if you want to be in a notification Fantagorn fam shout out all you have to do is turn your notifications on and comment down below anything you want on any of my videos or you can just comment a unicorn emoji. So let's just get right into this. By the way, this is actually Leilani um, from my Island Living Let's Play, but she has a little makeover and she looks absolutely stunning. So the first mod, you guys, I'm sure you can guess it. It's Slice of Life mod. That is the one mod, here it is right here, that I will always need in my game and it's never coming out and I use it every single time I play. So, um, actually we don't, well, I, I guess she can do whatever. So usually I'd have her go in the bathroom before I do this, but, oh, she wants to make her way for a drink, but we're going to set her up for weekly skin treatment. So that's something you can do with this mod. I just want to show you guys that first because it's one of the new features and I love it. All right, there we go. She has her face mask on. So that's what she looks like. It just literally like appears on their face. That's why I usually have them go into the bathroom before I do it because it just seems more realistic, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so you guys, she has different moodlets from this. She has healthy skin and she has time for my routine. And then she gets a moodlet from the mask that she puts on and you can get different face masks. You can get like a jelly sheet mask and stuff like that. So that's one thing you can do with it. And then also if you go into settings, you can choose your turn on, choose your turn off, choose your talent, or you can let them automatically just generate. So you can do that. You can do whatever you want. So if you want to choose them, you can go ahead and do that. Or, you know, as you're playing, they'll just randomly generate one on their own. But here's some of like the options. If you guys just want to look at these and it definitely adds like so much more personality to your sims like seriously and then the talent can also just happen naturally or if you want to specifically choose a talent you can do that um, and also now there is NPC events so you can cheat it and just give your sim an NPC event and then someone will call you which I'll go ahead and do that we're not gonna actually go to it but you know <laughs> hopefully someone calls her although I'm not sure if they will because she doesn't well actually she sh people hate her it's lovely <laughs> But anyway, so basically with NPC events, um, your phone will ring and someone will ask you to go somewhere and there is 21 NPC events, which is really, really cool. So there is that. And then that's like some new stuff that's been added. And then other than that, you guys, um, basically your, your sim will get different moodlets. Um, they will have a menstrual cycle. It's almost time. She starts her menstrual cycle in six days. Um, and then, you know, she'll get moody. She'll get cramps, all, all this kinds of stuff. Your sims can get breakouts um the kids can lose teeth um all these different things can happen just like real life stuff you can have baby fever you can um you know the little kids can want a sibling um and get a little moodlet from that a lot of the mod has to do with moodlets and it just adds so much personality and everything to your sim so there is that um there's so much to it but actually you guys if you search up fantasia slice of life mod on youtube search you'll find so many reviews that i've done on this mod on like a bunch of the updates and everything everything and I go like more in depth in what this mod does. Um, but basically it literally is exactly how it sounds. Slice of life. It gives you a slice of life. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's move on to the second one. And actually before we move on to the second one, I just want to let you guys know this house is uh, basically a house that I built. It's on my YouTube channel and it's on the gallery. So you guys can find it there under my origin ID, Real Fantasia. Um, it's just like a little beach house. 
Okay, so the next mod that I always have in my game is the UI extension mod. No matter what, I need this mod at all times, you guys. Uh, literally, when there's game updates, I die when I can't use this mod. Not literally, but <laughs> I just love it so much. So basically, UI extension mod allows you to click on things like this. You guys always ask me how I do that. So that's how I do that. Um, you can just click on their mood or you can click it down, whatever you want to do. Um, it also allows you to, for example, just right click and you will complete things. There you go. Completed. Done. Um, you can also, if she's in a career, which she's not, oh my god, we got some music going on. Um, if she's in a career, you can just right click and promote her um, for skills. She has no skills. Let's get her a skill. All right, so she has a book in her face, but <laughs> um, she just acquired the video gaming level one, and then you can go ahead and right click and you can just set it to level five. So you can do things like that. It really works great if you are setting up um, either a let's play or or just like a current household that you want to play if you just play on your own and you want to set them up you that they have a backstory and stuff and you want to set up their skills you can do that with mc command center too but this is just like so easy um and then another thing you can do is right click set the money you can literally set the game time uh, be careful with that your sim will be freaking out <laughs> but you can do that just be careful and yeah you can just do a bunch of things like that so basically oh another thing you can remove um moodlets so let's say i don't want her to be feeling good you could just take it off there you go gone so if your sim has a bad moodlet that you don't want them to have or something like that you can just remove it so that's the ui extension mod the next mod that is always in my game that i always need is mc command center Yes, this mod right here, you can just click on the sim or you can click on the computer and go through here. Um, they both give you dif different options. So if we were to click on her here, you can modify household and create a sim. You can do MC cast, gives you all these different options. Um, MC cheats, which I use a lot actually. So I use this a lot um, when I was doing my machinima series, I would have to cheat their needs a lot to fit the machinima scene so yeah and then the other thing skill sheets um so you can set skill a lot of times i'll actually use this and ui extension to set my sims up so i'll give them a skill here and then i'll cheat it up with ui extension if they have like a certain storyline um and then let's see so there's mc dresser there's mc pregnancy you can literally start a pregnancy right now for her <laughs> um there's mc tuner um there is sim flags i don't use all of this but there's just so many options you guys can just like explore it there's sim commands which is very helpful if you have your um maximum household size set higher than eight which you can also do with this mod which i'll show you in a second but if you set the household maximum number higher and you have more than eight sims you're gonna have to go into create a sim like this so you're gonna have to go to sim commands and then modify in cast and you go in to create a sim with just that one sim so um the reason i'm telling you guys this is because you guys always ask me in my single dad life let's play how i have more than eight sims i actually did a tutorial on it so if you guys want to watch that that's on my channel um and again if you just go to the youtube search and type fantasia how to have more than eight sims it'll come up um basically you're going to want to go and create a sim this way so you don't lose household members you're going to have to edit them individually one by one if you're doing makeovers or something like that but yeah it pays off you can set their age everything like that and yeah there's relationships you can add a relationship all this fun stuff and then on the computer there is some more settings so there's mcc settings you can change a bunch of stuff here we go so there's gameplay settings and there's all these different things that you can do you can do even game time speed which slows the game time um if you feel like the days go by too fast um and then maximum household size you can increase your maximum household size to 25 sims that's the highest you could do but you can put any number under that um so yeah i'm kind of showing you guys mostly the things that i use in this mod i guess um since that's the point of this video <laughs> um so yeah that's amazing that's an amazing feature and then another setting I use while I'm on the computer, um, basically MC pregnancy. This you can do so much with. So, well, actually, I mostly use stuff in MC Woohoo, technically, but you know, you can do stuff in here too. But no, I don't really feel like I do that much in here. But you can allow pregnancy aging, 
which is very handy, especially if your sim's getting pregnant a lot. <laughs> um, but okay, so MC Woohoo, that's what I use a lot. So you can do um, Woohoo actions, allow family, pretty weird, but you could do that. Allow teens. I use this all the time. This is how I have teen pregnancy in some of my Let's Plays. So if you guys are wondering about that, that's how I do it. Just allow teens. Um, there's also no strings Woohoo, which I've used before too, which allows you to Woohoo with any sim if you don't have a romantic relationship, which is perfect for storylines if you have like a night where your sim hooks up with someone and they end up pregnant perfect for that seriously so great um and then you can do a woohoo pregnancy um basically you can do risky woohoo percent this is another thing i use if you guys are wondering how i have my sims just have like a chance of getting pregnant and i don't actually actually have to try for a baby i can just go woohoo um and yeah that's basically all i use from there but you can do whatever you want you can also have woohoo reactions which is pretty funny <laughs> and then there's also other settings you can use the woohoo skill which i do use a lot too there's also extreme woohoo i'm not sure what that is you guys so just just do what you will <laughs> um you can also do an autonomous woohoo so the woohoo at random times there's birth control so you can do all moods birth control um basically by default they can take birth control when they're flirty so if you want them to have be able to take birth control always then do that i always do that and then you can also change the duration which i usually change as well so i have this set now to last 24 hours um because the birth control sometimes like it only lasts a couple hours and then see it's on default too so it lasts two hours that kind of sucks and then by accident you woohoo too late and then your sim's pregnant so i do 24 hours <laughs> definitely recommend that and yeah that's basically everything that i use from here um so yeah, you guys can, you know, just go through these. There might be more things that you guys find, but seriously, amazing mod. It allows you to do so much. So the next mod is actually perfect because she's on the computer right now. It is the online learning system. I love this mod. And especially after um, my Life After the Hookup series, I by the way she just purchased it so you're, you have to like purchase it which i like <laughs> um i use this all the time in that series and i feel like now i'm never gonna take it out because it's so handy i had it before that series too um and i would take it in and out but ever since that series it's not coming out it's amazing so basically this allows you to like literally learn any skill on the computer which i think is so cool you can pretend your sim is like studying for like online college or you know they're doing homeschool or they're just learning whatever you want to do um you can even study hard for 10 more simoleons it's just really cool you guys so let's have her learn something let's have her learn some cooking so basically you guys will see she's learned the cooking skill and you know she's just learning her skill like normal and yeah she'll just be on the computer learning her stuff seriously so convenient and this way especially you know if you don't want to buy certain things you can just go on your computer like for example i don't know you want your sim to uh learn logic but you don't want to get a chess table there you go perfect so this mod is amazing i love it so much all right you guys so i just got a random dog in create a sim and so cute so cute but the next one is the playable pets mod so this mod i literally cannot live without i remember there was a while a couple months back actually probably like a few months back now quite a while ago now um where i took it out and now I just can't live without it. I don't even know how I took it out. I need this mod. I need it. <laughs> just, I need to be able to tell my pets what to do when they're just like not listening or their moods are awful and I'm scared they're going to die and just stuff like that. This is so convenient. So we have our little doggo here. His name is Loki. And basically we are clicked on him and we can just tell him to go here so i get a lot of questions about this too how i'm controlling the pets and i remember when cats and dogs first came out i actually liked that we couldn't control the pets and in a way i still like that when it comes to like the pets having like a mind of their own and stuff like that but i like having the option to control them for the situations where you know I need to just know how they're feeling because they're feeling, I know they're feeling awful and I'm scared they're going to die. You know how many times my, my dogs like hunger is so low and for some reason they won't go eat and I'm just like, ah, so I need to go tell them to eat or their affection's really low and all my sims are really busy. So I just need to raise it really quick and it just comes in handy 
uh, for those type of things. And if you have two pets, you can tell them to play with each other. So that's really great. Um, but yeah, another great thing is with Island Living, you can tell your dog to go swimming. And I feel like that's perfect because, I mean, if you're in Sulani, of course you want your dog to go swimming. How freaking cute is that? But sometimes your dog just doesn't want to go swimming. So yeah, we can just tell them to go and look at, look at the little puppers. Oh, swimming into the rock. Okay. It's because the rock sized up. So that's why. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can just tell your dog to swim, tell your dog where to swim. And if your dog's not feeling good, you can also tell them to get out ASAP before they drowned. So it just really helps with those type of things. And yeah, it's just a really great mod. So the next thing may seem kind of silly, but I can't tell you guys how many times I have needed this in my game because I'm someone who likes to make a lot of different holidays in my game. And a lot of the times I can't find the icon that I need. So basically there is a mod called more holiday icons and guys, this mod is so great. So when you're going to make a holiday, you know, you see very limited icons usually. Well, look at all of these icons. Obviously this is mixed in with the ones that are already in the game, but you guys, if you just have the regular icons, you know how much more this is and there's just so many options. If you are someone who likes to make a whole bunch of holidays, well, now you're set. You literally have an icon for everything, like crazy things too. Like if you're someone who likes to make the weird holidays, which like, I mean, that's a fun time. Uh, it's really fun to just make these random holidays in your game and you just need different movements for that. You could literally, like something I love doing is just making certain days, even though it's not technically a holiday, I just plan it on the calendar as a holiday so it like feels like something Something's happening that day and I can like see what it is with the icon and like it has a name and it's like okay so for example like you have family bowling day you can click on this and then have a specific day that is for bowling and it's just it's great okay you guys so the next one is in create a sim so this one is the more traits mod uh it's by Kawhi stacy by the way i'm gonna have the links down below to everything so i know i haven't been like directly saying what every mod like is by like who every mod is by i should say um but this mod Oh my god, it adds so many different traits. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's click these off. So, oh, also, um, I think I have both of her sets. I think there's two different ones. I might be wrong. All I know is I don't know if they're both on her website right now. She is updating all her mods, but I know that one of them is. I did see the more traits number one on her website. So I don't know if she's combined them now and everything will be in included or if you install number one and you see some traits that I have are not in your game after putting the mod in that's probably because it's trait set number two <laughs> and it will be coming on her website so um one of them is ugly but it's not what you think it is so it says these sims are quite ugly on the inside which makes it hard for them to build relationships so i love this i feel like that is so perfect basically these traits just add a lot of just better personalities to your sims, make them unique, you know? Um, there's angler, these sims are really good at fishing. Dancer, these sims are really good at dancing. We have green thumb, these sims are masters when it comes to gardening, handy. Um, what else? Natural gamer, love that. <laughs> natural musician, natural singer, programmer, sporty, writer. There's just so many things. There's a bad cook. Um, we have, what's another one? Um, early bird, that's a cool one. And there's heavy drinker, fun loving, um, introvert. Let's see. There is a light sleeper, light eater, um, natural artist, natural cook, naturally smelly, naturally thick. Um, we have naturally thin. This has to do with their metabolism. So I think that's really cool too. And very detailed. Um, there's night owl, there's piggy, um, sleeper, scientist, slow learner, um, talented, tone deaf, uncreative, untalented. Uh, let's see. Charming. We have lovable. I love that. And then I think this one comes with the two mischievous, uh, naturally funny. There is sweet talker, talkative, and unforgettable. Look at all those traits, you guys. It's amazing. I love this. And the unforgettable one, you guys, these sims leave a mark on everyone that they meet. It's hard to forget someone like this. How cute is that? <laughs> the lovable one is really cute too. So that is my, uh, custom traits. They're, they all come in like one set. Like 
I said, if I have number one and two, then I don't think number two is on her website yet, but it will be. So yeah, I'm going to be linking number one though, of course. But if you notice that some of them are in your game, that is why. Okay. So she's dancing, looking absolutely adorable. But the next one is Road to Fame. Literally. Oh my God. This mod, you guys, is incredible. So I love this to death. I'm not even going to lie. I use this more than Get Famous and I'm not sorry about it. I don't know what it is about this mod, but I'm just obsessed with it. <laughs> so like, I don't know why I, I like automatically gear towards this when I want to do something to make us some famous rather than using Get Famous. I don't know why I do that because Get Famous is like the legit pack and like it has the acting career, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't find myself using it. I don't know why. Like, it's a great pack. I love it, but I don't know. <laughs> so if you guys don't have Get Famous, honestly, don't even worry about it. Just get this mod. Like, it really does everything for you. It's amazing. So we have acting. You can practice acting. Let's uh, just have her do that. Sure. Um, and then we have, where are we? <laughs> we have um, modeling. There is professional singing and Simstagram. So, um... In my single dad life, we use this for modeling and Simstagram, and it is amazing. They are rich. It has done wonders. There's also options. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. You can do cheats. You can disable things. Yeah. Your Sims can have a P.O. box. Like, sim like when you get, like, popular enough, Sims will literally send you stuff. They send you a lot of stuff. It's incredible. So there's Simstagram. You can create a Simstagram account. She has acquired the acting skill. It's a whole skill, you guys. And that is not all. There, there's more skills. So let's go ahead and go in here again. Road to fame, um, professional singing. You can practice singing. And then you guys, the singing one's really cool. It's one of my favorites. So she's made her um, social media account, but the singing, you can literally like, there's Simlish Cloud which is so cool. You can write songs, you can sing them, upload them to your Simlish cloud. You'll get comments, you can reply to them, like you, all these different things. It's so cool. You'll get paid. You can go record multiple songs at once, once you like level up more. Um, and you can go to your recording studio and record lots of songs at once. And like, yeah, it's great. And so here, now that we have you know, what well, made our Instagram account. When you level up with this too, you're going to have so many more options. So like right now we can only post a photo and things like that, but like it is a skill. You can cheat it up and you'll have more options. It's really, really cool. So it's five levels and basically now we can respond to comments, record a video using front phone camera or the back camera, post an inspirational picture, post a, post a picture from phone, all these different things. They can get different moolahs from all, from all these things, um, which is really cool too. Um, yeah, you can just cheat everything up. See, there's professional singing. It's like a whole different skill. This one just comes with the game, but you gain both. So that's really neat. Um, we can go ahead and cheat that up too. So I'm using UI extension, like I showed you guys to cheat them up. All right. So now that that is cheated up, you can look for singing telegram offers, check hit beat, assign backup dancer, because you can literally perform. Um, there's a whole stage and everything. I have a review on that. If you guys want to check that out again, if you just type Fantasia road to fame review, you'll see it. I've done more than one, but you'll, you'll know what, what is which. Cause there was like a singing update, um, write song lyrics, perform for tips, simlish cloud. You can record all these songs, sing to impress, purchase song lyrics, um, work on album at studio, record multiple songs at, at studio. Um, amazing, amazing. Release an album, excuse me. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and sheet up the acting and you'll have more options there. So she's, she's just jamming. <laughs> so acting, you can watch acting lessons, practice acting, lose self and sadness, which is like, you know, part of the acting fake passing out, <laughs> check character portrayal. Um, show reactions, emotion, drama, you can act shocked, all these different cool things. I think it's so cool. Reactions that that's, it's just a fun time. Um, and then the whole modeling, she can browse for modeling poses. She's just doing all sorts of things. And then she's required the modeling skill. She's going swimming now. She's like, bah. <laughs> so you can set that to five and then you'll have some more options. And we got the deck glitch. Deck is disappearing. Okay, so modeling, you'll be able to eat an apple, browse modeling poses. You can take photos, posing, pills, you guys, which be careful. 
But this just kind of goes with the whole modeling thing because sometimes they do crazy things. You must earn it muscle enhancer pill, but just be careful because you get some crazy moodlets. You can exercise, check attractiveness, um, spray fragrance, spray breath spray, and gussy up. So you can do so much with this. There's also services. You can call the police, hire a bodyguard, hire an assistant. It's really cool, you guys. So she's trying to go swimming, um, but we're going to talk about two mods that kind of go together. So, um, let's have her just like, no, 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 don't swim. Okay. So this next mod, well, actually both, it's the pose player and teleporter mod. So I use this all the time. It never comes out of my game. So I definitely have to include it. This is how like, you know, I pose my Sims for my thumbnails and stuff like that. So basically when you install pose player, you'll have this here, pose by pack and pose by name. I always do pose by pack. Basically what you can do is just go into Google and type Sims for pose player poses, download a whole bunch of poses that you like. You're set to go. Just drop them in your mods folder. Um, but first of course actually install the pose player which i'll have linked below and then you can just download any poses so um i don't even know where any of these are from so i'm sorry <laughs> i just literally type sims 4 pose player poses sims 4 poses sims 4 couple poses sims 4 children poses baby poses uh anything <laughs> so it just gives you all these different things so you know for example let's have her do a couple of these um these are interesting <laughs> so she'll you can just tell her to do the poses and she'll just do them so yeah there's also like couple poses which that's when you're gonna need the teleporter mod so I will show you guys how to use that and everything. So you can just tell her to stop doing them like this and she'll just change poses. So that's really neat. Um, so now, um, if you have either you need your sim to stand in a certain spot or you have two sims posing at once, basically you can get the teleporter mod, which kind of just goes hand in hand with this. So you can just type teleporter and then sim teleporter destination. And then it's right here and then you can just this deck is all sorts of glitched out so let's go up here <laughs> um so basically you can just place this down and then you'll be able to click on it and you can teleport a sim here and you can just teleport the sim you can also teleport pets and then they're in the spot you need them if you need two sims oh side note if you need two sims um over there basically what you're gonna do is place two on top of each other and then you're gonna just teleport them both there and then from there you can just go back into pose player and then you can select like poses like this so you would tell her to do the female then go to the guy and then have him go on the male so we don't have a male right now so that's fine but you know obviously she'd be doing these poses with a guy so it looks kind of weird right now and these are pregnancy poses so looks a little weird <laughs> but she'd be doing the poses with the guy and it's like two two people at once another thing that will help you so your sims don't suddenly move is go into your game options go into gameplay and turn autonomy off so yeah they won't go randomly doing things they'll stay where you need them and yeah you guys that is basically it um she's looking all sorts of weird now but that's basically all of my mods that I don't know what she's doing. I don't even know what this pose is, but usually it'd be with a guy. So I guess it would look right if there was a guy sim. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you guys, you know, wanted to know the mods that I really use in my game all the time, those are the ones. And that doesn't mean I don't use other mods. Like, you know, um, I'll use like the Simda dating mod from time to time, but rarely, you know what I mean? Like there'll be a certain situation where I'll use it. Um, you know, just things like that. Like, you know, <laughs> but these are the mods that stay in my game 24 seven. I always use them in my gameplay and I just need them at all times. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it. You guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I'll have all the links down below to all the mods that I talked about. And I feel like this video is kind of long, but I wanted to go in depth and show you guys each mod. I don't want to just like be like, yep, I use Road to Fame. I use UI extension, you know, because some people do want to see how each of them work. You know what I mean? And like, no, but they want to know why I always keep them in my game and why they're like, a must-have mod for me, you know, um, to see if it would be a must-have mod for them. So I wanted to like go in depth with that. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check the 
description down below for the links. Of course, they'll be in order. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much